Welcome to Come Forever Number Two. I just deleted a video that I made about I can be friends with the Trump supporter. I will explain to you why I deleted that video after I get my socks on. And providing that I put them on the right damn feet. Okay. So, I deleted that video because I got two in my feelings. I let that shit get personal. And I didn't want you guys to think lesser of me than you already do. So I deleted it. You know, I got into um, a lot of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to recap that so that we can move on. Okay? Like I said on this channel, I give you 99.9. .9. You're either with me or you're not. And I'm not going to cry about it if you're not with me. I thank you if you are. You know? I'm going to stand up for this because you know my hip issue and my inability to sit down for more than two hours. Okay. So here's how this works. In the video, I got the discussion about why people would follow Trump or didn't follow Trump or whatever and my personal feelings about him being the racist that he is. I am going to recap that shit right now. I will try to stay unemotional about that shit as possible. Alright? Because I got a lot going on in my life. So as I said, if you are a Trump supporter, it is not you that I question. It is your morals that I question. And just like me questioning your morals, you're going to question mine. My problem with Trump go further than yours. So let me give you the reasons why I will have a friend that is a Trump supporter. But then let me give you the reasons on why I will never support that racist bastard. That was pretty much the reason right there, but here we go. See, a lot of people who follow Trump followed him for mostly one reason. Their wallets. You know, he promised a lot of things. Did he deliver on them? Probably. Did his delivery on them affect me in some way or another? No, it didn't. It honestly didn't. He didn't help me or hurt me in the whole process. However, I have biased feelings towards him from shit before you guys even thought about this guy ever being president. All right? And I talked about all that shit. I'm going to recap on that after I explain why I can't have a friend who's a Trump supporter. Because here's the simple truth on that. We can still be friends no matter who the fuck you vote for. Your political affiliation, no matter how it affects the world, should not affect our friendship. Now, I, on the other hand, have to be respectful to your vote. And if you say the person I voted for sucks dicks, I have to respect your opinion. It might not be true, but I have to respect your opinion. Because maybe the motherfucker do suck dicks behind closed doors. Not my problem. But if that's your personal opinion, and unless you actually saw the motherfucker sucking the dick, then... You know, I'm just going to let you have it. I mean, you have the right to be angry. You do. I do not have the right to judge you because I am not the Lord and creator of all life. But I'm going to say this. If I say the same thing about your political affiliation and who you voted for, you equally have to respect my opinion and have to let me have it. You know, without going, well, your political person is this and I have to equally do the same or the friendship's not going to work. Now... Here's the main reasons why I will never follow this bastard besides the fact that he is a bloody fucking racist. Now, my problem started all the way back in 1993 when some of you were still um, living in your daddy's left nutsack because y'all don't act right. Like what I did there, huh? So, I'm 48 years old. Back in 1993, I was 19. I had my life planned out. I wanted to be a cop. I wanted to join the UFC. Both of those things weren't going to happen. Did I know that back then? No. Had no clue. Because the UFC pretty much told me to go fuck myself because I couldn't gain weight. You know, didn't mean I couldn't fight, just means I couldn't gain weight. Yet, if you look at all those old UFCs from 1993s, they didn't fucking have weight classes to like UFC 3. But they wouldn't let me fight. They pretty much told me to go fuck myself. Same thing with Havoc, same thing with Wreck, same thing with the fact that this shit isn't relevant to this video. But what is relevant to this video is back in 1993, when I was 19, our ex-president, former president, the red-headed step troll, he um, had an issue with part of my culture, my Native American side. Now, granted, I am not a member of the Indians that he was after, because this was in California, or Nevada, but the trial was in California, and you can go find a video, which in the other video, I pretty much told you where to go find it. But you can find it right here on YouTube. You can't find it on my page, but you can find it. Donald Trump had an argument 
with the city council on how come Native Americans don't have to pay taxes on their reservations and casinos, but he has to pay high taxes on his casinos. And the people who he was fighting with, according to him, did not look like Indians to him. That was the first time that I felt total disdain for Mr. Trump. That was the first time. Because by the time I was 19, I knew I was part Native. Believe me, I knew. Because from 16 to 19, there was a man who worked at Kegler's as a customer who wouldn't stop calling me Chief. So believe me, I knew that I was Native by the time I was 19. I knew. Did I know the language? Nope. My great-grandmother had passed. I only had to see my other grandmother three or four times out of the year, which was summertime, and at that time my dad had moved, so I didn't go see my dad till well after graduation. And once I learned how to get to Richmond on my own, things was a little different. I also didn't have a dependable car. I had a Dodge Turismo. I missed that car. Not that much. So that was my first taste of his racism. Because he looked at the council and said that they don't like Indians to me. Why do I have to pay all these high taxes but the natives don't? And I thought to myself, I'm actually going to do my hair while we're talking. In case you're wondering why I'm doing this. Just because I don't feel like putting that thing on. And I'm just going to put in a ponytail until I go to sleep. Then I'm going to undo my hair. And I'm going to make up monologue Monday on Friday. Even though I did a fairly decent job on Monday. So we're just going to... It's also getting on my nerves, so that's kind of why I'm doing this shit. No bindings, just one. So, I got my first taste of Mr. Trump's racial tendencies. I didn't want to believe it until I actually saw it, because it was all over the news, just not the local news in Virginia. Because the only thing that was hitting the local news in Virginia around that time would wind up being the OJ trial with the OJ case a few years later. And Donald and OJ and all that. The rich people kiss toes and stuff with each other. Now, a few years later, the Central Park Five. That happened. And Donald Trump wanted New York to reinstate the death penalty and kill five innocent black men who were boys between the ages of 14 to 16. None of them were 18. They were all tried as adults. None of them were 18 and none of them raped that young white lady. But he wanted their blood. So now we've covered two of my ethnicities and two of the reasons why I couldn't stand this man that y'all call the Trump. Okay? He didn't like black people. He damn sure didn't like natives. I'm part native and I'm part black. I also mentioned that in damn near every video I'm in. I'm also part white. He rarely gave white people any problems. Unless you were really, really poor white people. Now, I'm not going to lie. When The Apprentice came out, I watched the first episode. I think I might have watched the first season off and on. Amorosa won, I believe. If not her, it was Kwame or Kwame or whatever the fuck his name is. One of those two people won. I don't know which season because, like I said, I'm not a Trump fan at all. And then uh, when he had Arnold guest star on there, that's one I watched. You know, I remember Arnold being a guest star. I don't know what season. And then... They had the celebrity one where Arnold was probably on there. A lot of other celebrities. That's one I watched. But I don't like Trump. Didn't give two shits about him one way or the other. And then shit got complicated. Trump went bankrupt a couple of times. Trump was on the WWE when it was the WWF. That's about the times I really didn't like Trump. Although he had Bobby Lashley as his champion. And somehow another Vince McMahon got bald. Because they weren't going to shave the hair flip of the red-headed troll. All right? Now, let's get into the guts and the glory of why I cannot support this man. Should we go with the Native Americans first, or should we go with the Chinese reporter? Let's go with the Native Americans first, because that's a little bit more easier for me to explain. Because, see, um, when he was getting voted in, he uh, promised the Lakota Sioux Indians from Standing Rock, before he even got in there, he said, if I get to be your president, I promise nothing's going to happen with the pipeline, I'm not going to let it go through your land, blah, blah, blah. So, Obama, last day as president, signs a protective order 
to protect the Lakota Sioux Indians. Again, I deleted this from the other tape because I started getting emotional. First day in office, because you're not going to find that video about him promising the Lakota Sioux that that shit wasn't going to happen. First day in office, though, he decrees the pipeline's going to go through Lakota land. Are we getting the pattern here? Yeah, because see, I'm part native. You know, so are we getting the pattern here? If it wasn't for the young white girl, for the virgin keeping this thing alive, no one gave a damn about the Lakota access pipeline. But Obama did, you know. And Obama's not a saint. He got rid of a whole lot of black people that tried to come into America. And the president before him did the same thing, except for Ilian Gonzalez. I might have my dates mixed up. I do have concussion and short-term memory issues. But I've never lied about that. You guys can Google Ilian Gonzalez. Trust me. He got in, but the boat full of black people did not. They were sent back. So that's about the time I um, started making fun of um, Neil Diamond's um, America song, Every Day in the World, They Coming to America. I'll sing some bars after this video. Anyway, so he tells them he's not going to let anything happen. He's not going to let the pipeline go through. First day in office, he signs on to let the pipeline go through. So... He has problems with natives. Then they have these propaganda videos about this old lady who's living in Trump, in Trump Towers or somewhere for rent free. And she's an old black lady who's been there for like 15 years has never paid him a dime of rent. And I'm like, okay, this is an actress like me who needed work and has not been paid. And now here's how we get paid. You're going to work for Donald Trump. You're going to pretend to be some old lady who's been living in my building so I can get all the black votes. Cha-ching! Got the black votes. Started getting black people out of jail, left and right, so that they would owe him their vote by obligation alone. The man's a businessman, people. Come on. Businessmen are some of the shadiest motherfuckers you'll ever meet. I did not know that businessmen were some of the racist motherfuckers you would ever meet. Until him. So let's go a little further. Let's dive a little deeper. Let's go to Elizabeth Warren. I deleted this video beforehand because I have a grandmother. Her nickname is Pocahontas. Her real name is Marie. She's also part native. She might be full native, but we don't really know. Because she was adopted by a black woman named Sarah, who is my grandmother, who raised her and some of her sisters. And I could be wrong on that. But I don't care. Because my grandmother's still here at 90 years old. And she's fully cognizant of everything. I had to go fix her TV last week. HDMI stuff. Now, every chance that Trump got, every chance, he took pop shots at Elizabeth Warren, calling her Pocahontas, calling her Pocahontas, calling her Pocahontas. She even got the blood test proving that she had 4% of native DNA. 4% is better than no percent. And, even though natives gave her a hard time, Trump continued to call her Pocahontas. And then he moved on to the Code Talkers. When the Code Talkers were there in the White House, he goes, we have a person who's been here. She's been around just as long as you. We call her Pocahontas. One of the Code Talkers literally cracked a giggle and almost started laughing. Because Pocahontas was a victim, by the way. I just learned that. Just in case y'all were wondering. The Disney version isn't a thousand percent accurate. But... For all medicinal purposes, and I may need to get a job at Disney, we're just going to let that part slide out. But, after saying that, in front of Code Talkers, servicemen from World War II that were Navajo, with no qualms to give, he gave two fucks about what he said, and none of his people stopped him, none of his people said anything, and they all let that shit happen on live TV. You can find that video. Trust me, you can find that video. So now, we're going to bring you up the present day now. COVID-19. COVID-19. And I deleted this video because I said some really bad things about natives and Asian people who support Trump. Because I got into my feelings. Instead of trying to be truthful about this shit. I also said something about Latin people who supported Trump. Because if your skin is brown, he wants you to go down. And he didn't give a damn. And I said stuff like that, only a lot harsher. So, let's go to COVID-19. 
It's an unfortunate event that COVID-19 came out of Wuhan, China. Yes, it came out of Wuhan, China. We don't know if it was government-made. We don't know if it's man-made. But we know everybody and their mama probably should take the vaccine. Most people aren't taking the vaccine. And that's your right. And I'm not going to fight you on that. Because initially, I thought about not taking it myself. Then I thought about my job. And my job set it up for me to take it. Because I had two options. I could wait for the military to give it to me because I'm a vet. Or, since my job had already set it up, go ahead and get it done. And I'm one of those people who don't believe in fuck around and find out. Unless it's absolutely positively necessary. So, I didn't fuck around and found out. I also didn't feel like playing hurry up and wait. Because the military had me playing hurry up and wait. So I got the vaccine. Both shots. My paper's over there. Mr. Trump, on the other hand, decided that it's go time. For Chinese Americans. Now I'm not going to say that Chinese Americans and black Americans and white Americans didn't have racial issues prior to this. Because they did. Not one Caucasoid, Nagraloid, or Magraloid is above racism. Let me explain that to you. Caucasoid, Caucasian people. Nagraloid, black people. Magraloid, Asian people. I fall into the Hyperanoid because I am a combination of all three of them because natives are biologically Asian. Enough about that. So, he starts talking about Wuhan disaster, Kung flu, and all of a sudden, the escalated racist attacks on Asians begun. Not only did it begin, it accelerated. I did a video earlier today about why TikTok stopped me from posting. But we don't need to go there. You can just go watch that. But I am going to go to something in that level. Because, see, there was a Chinese reporter from Virginia who was at the White House that day. And he, she asked him a very important question. And his little racist ass shouted out, Why don't you go ask China? And she didn't take no shit from him. She pulled that mask off quick as fuck and said, Why did you say that to me? Oh, it was very clear, young lady, why he said that to you. Because he was a fucking racist. Point blank, period. He was a fucking racist. Then her white friend decided to let her continue her questioning. So what did he do? He became a sexist. Because y'all know, Billy Bush still isn't working, even though he didn't do anything but his job. Where Donald Trump was the one who said, you can grab women's by the vagina. If you're rich enough. And I'm like... How did any woman vote for this bastard? He's disgusting. But hey, y'all did it. Y'all got him in there. No judgment. But moral compass wise, if I was a woman and somebody's telling me or telling somebody who's working with me that if they're rich enough, he can come over and grab my vagina, I think I would be a little bit perturbed about that shit. It would behoove the fool to try to grab me by my vagina if I had one to know that I know Kung Fu and I'm going to rip your shit clean off your body. I'm sorry. Since I'm a man, I like to keep my shit. Personally, I'm not going to go grab any woman by her vagina without her consent. But a lot of you women voted him in. Even though he talked about women like they were nothing. Like nothing. But a lot of women voted him in. And y'all still don't see the flaw in this. You really don't. So then, all of a sudden, the escalation of Asian attacks... Because a lot of prejudiced people, black and white, excuse me, that's a prejudice. Let me recap that. A lot of racist people that are black and white do not know the difference between Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Laos, Laotian is what I should have said. Um, Indonesian, Malaysian, Tahitian, Samoan. That's a lot of Asians, right? They all look alike, right? Of course they do. Because you're a racist fuck. And those racist people were attacking them. And they were even attacking the Philippines. For the Filipinos. But I suppose nobody decided that this was a thing. But it was because of fear, panic, chaos, and disorder caused by the great Donald Trump telling everybody that the Chinese virus is spreading. The Kung flu is spreading. The Wuhan disease is spreading. Go Google it. He does say all those things. I might be a little off on the Wuhan disease part, but he does say that shit. So go look for that. Now that we got all the stuff that I deleted out of the way, except for like my personal part about him um, not apologizing to the Central Park Five, even though DNA proved that they were innocent. And now we're going to talk about the shit that, the reason why I deleted it. So 
then I'm gonna end the video. In my other video that I deleted, I specifically said that I was angry at anybody who was Native American or Asian that voted for Trump. Because Native Americans were having issues with Trump. And Asians, even if they weren't Chinese, till this day are still being attacked by people who are black or white because they're scared of COVID-19. And those same scared cat bastards won't go get the vaccine, but yet you see an elderly person because you don't know if they're Chinese. You just know they're Asian, so you're just going to go molly -wop them in the back of the head because you can and because you're a coward. And just like that video I showed earlier with Mr. Clean deciding to attack these young women who were dancing in the park or in the streets of Boston, he wants to be a Billy Badass because he's in a muscle shirt. And he's bald, so he's cool because he's bald and he's black and he's threatening these six young women. Punk ass motherfucker. Anyway, you don't take into the account of how many Asians are dead because of people being afraid of COVID-19. Like the Asian man who was attacked by a black guy who slammed his head into the wall by pushing him. He died three days later. The Filipino man who got cut from face to face because someone thought he was Chinese on a bus in either Boston or New York. I don't really remember the city, so I apologize for getting that wrong. Uh, the old Asian man who was getting recorded crying by a bunch of black people because he was trying to get canned and some big bully black bastard decided, oh, I'm going to keep swinging the stick at him. And then these other assholes all around doing nothing, watching this Chinese man cry. Are you proud of yourselves? Because you're pieces of scum. Not the word I would prefer to use, but I don't want this video canceled. Because it would be canceled if it was on TikTok. Then the young girl that happened before the old man getting attacked on the train or on the bus in New York with the yellow coat getting tea toned at her and then she flying dragon kicks the shit out of the young black dude who runs like the coward that he is. Then there was the Asian woman whose purse got snatched in front of her son by two black dudes, and the son tried to put up a little bit of a fight, but it wasn't much of a fight. Then there was the Asian girl who got set on fire. She was actually a grown woman. She's like 55. She was on some street in New York, and she got set on fire, but some good citizens put the fire out. But they only did that because she was Asian. But what about the old Asian woman being chased by the little white guy with the Lysol can? What about the old Asian woman that clocked the white guy for knocking out the old Asian man and trying to beat her, and she picked up a stick and went to his ass? And what about the old Asian man who was 70-something years old who got attacked by some 13-year-olds driving a car who also sadly happened to be black, dragging him on the ground for his money? What about the two Asian women in New York where the guy came in with a brick and started beating him upside the head and unfortunately he was black? Now, let's flip the script. What about the young black rapper who wanted to shoot a video who was getting verbally assaulted by the Chinese man who wouldn't let him do his video? Don't worry. Like I said, no one is above racism. No one. You all know someone who is a racist or you know someone who has been the victim of a racism. You're on one of those tracks or the other. Whether you like it or not, you are on one of those tracks. You're either on the side where you know a racist because he's a racist or you know someone who's been the victim of racism. I, on the other hand, have been the victim of racism from all three of my ethnicities and I personally know a racist. But, he gets a hall pass. You want to know why he gets a hall pass? Because he never denied the fact that he was a racist. He straight told me when I first met him, he is my friend Billy's father. I'm not giving last names. And he's also a twin brother. And he told me straight from the jump when I first met him. He's like, yeah, you're another one of those mixed guys. Um, what are you mixed with? He's like, I'm Cherokee, black and white. He's like, all right, well, I'm going to give you a hall pass because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like black people. I hate black people. I can't stand them. But because you mix that something you can't help, you always walk them in my house. Or anywhere that I got to pay bills with. And Billy was cool as shit. His daddy was cool as shit. His daddy's twin brother was cool as shit. Both of them was all on racist. Billy wasn't racist, but his father and his twin brother was. Didn't tell us why. Didn't ask why. But they gave us a hall pass because we was mixed. Alright? Something we couldn't help. So, I will always respect that man. Because he was honest about that shit. So I knew that if he was going to stab me, it would be right in the face. It wouldn't be in my back. All of a sudden, 
it was a native who was supporting Trump. And I was mad as fuck about that. Totally mad as fuck about that. Felt like I got kicked in the nuts. If you've been on my channel, you've been on my channel long enough to know that I come after people that are racist. Because I don't have the right to be a racist because I'm part native, part black, and part white. I am what America is afraid of becoming. A world where mixed people are thriving. Because that's what America was supposed to be in the first place. But enough of that. We're not going on that. We're going to go why I can have a friend who is a Trump supporter. And still be a friend. This is where the rest of this video is going to go. Since I deleted the original because I got into my feelings. So here's the thing. You're a Trump supporter. You know. You're, you're, you're welcome here. You may not like the videos I do on Trump. And it's fine for you to leave me a horrible comment. I'm not going to clap back. It's not even worth our time. Because at the end of the day, that motherfucker don't give any two shits about you as he does about me. It's just that simple. If that was the case, you'd think he would be doing everything he could to get those people on January the 6th out of jail. But he's got his own problems. But he's not worried about those people at January 6th. He's not worried about that shit. He doesn't give a fuck about them. You know, inciting a riot is a crime. Now, I don't know how much time you can get for that, but inciting a riot is a crime. Now, here's why I said I could have a friend who's a Trump supporter. I'm not going to ask you who you voted for. If you voted for Trump, we can still be friends. That's got nothing to do with you and me. That's got something to do with you. While well, I vote for the other guy. That has nothing to do with you and me. That has something to do with me. You voted for Trump if you were Asian. I was mad at you. I'm not going to lie. I was highly mad at you. Because a lot of your Asian brethren, you might have been Filipino. You might have been Japanese. You might have been Korean or Vietnamese or Laos or Laotian or Indonesian. You may have been of any Asian descent other than Chinese. But all of your Chinese brethren and some people who were nowhere even close to being Chinese were getting attacked because of the shit that flooded this man's mouth. And if you didn't think about that and if you didn't feel about that, I got nothing against you for that. But you need to reevaluate your moral compass because what happens when it's you? No. What happens when some racist motherfucker comes up and thinks that you're Chinese? Even though you're Filipino or Korean or mixed like me. But you got a Chinese face and Chinese features. And someone decides, I'm going to hurt you because you are Chinese. And because your people came up with the Wuhan virus, the Kung flu, the Chinese virus. Any other thing that he said, shit, shit tastes like shit coming out my mouth. So what are you going to do when you are that victim of some racist bastard because you're Asian? Which is why I was mad at the Asians that were going around hollering Trump 2020. Kind of found out most of them, sadly, were Filipinos. There was a group that had Asians for Trump. I was mad as hell at them. I didn't follow them. I probably should have so I could keep an eye on what the fuck they were doing. But what can I say? You're going to vote for who you want to vote for. Lots of people who follow Trump, again, I deleted that video, but they mostly follow him for the wallet and the promises of more money. Sacrifice my moral compass. Fuck all of my friends. My money is more important than their lives, especially my Asian friends that are going to get messed up. Once that shit started, I will tell you, I have like maybe 15 Asian friends that I worry about still to this day and my crush amongst them. Shout out to my crush Zeta Zang. I worry about them all the damn time. I understand that I worry about my friends that are Asian because there are racist people out here, black and white, who will waste no quarter to attack them for the simple fact that they are Asian. I understand that shit. So again, yeah, I can have a friend that's a Trump supporter. My only question is, why? Was it money? Because I just told you everything that you can hear and see from this man. He escalated the Chinese virus, which escalated the Wuhan flu, which escalated the Wuhan disaster. And by saying all that, the attacks on Asians jumped to like 80%. 80% of gun owners from the time he's been in office till right now have been Asians. 
because Asians have received the blunt of this blast of his presidency. So you can hate me if you want. You can be a Trump supporter. You're not forced to stay here. I'm not going to tell you to leave. But if you don't like the truth, this is not the channel for you. Simple as that. I'm not going to hate you if you leave. You have that right. This is YouTube. I don't own you. I own this channel. That's it. I would love for you to stay. I would love to have your opinion. Your opinion is not going to match mine. But it is going to matter. Because unlike Mr. Trump, I like to honor my word. So if you're not a Trump supporter, great. If you are a Trump supporter, great. My only question is why? What are you missing that I'm not seeing? Or what are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Besides my wallet. That being said, this video is over because I don't want to get too deep into my feelings and start doing things that I'm going to regret later. Thank you guys for watching. I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Epic number two. Be seeing you.